You join me again for another installment of Magic Monday. We're going straight off for a massage. Let's go. Second week of fasting. And I'm learning quite a lot about myself. And also as well, one thing, I'm on the black coffee this morning, as you can see, because a lot of the journals that I've been reading, black coffee comes in low enough in calories to still be classed as in a fast, which is fantastic because last week my energy levels were quite low first thing in the morning. So something like having a little bit of a caffeine spike is going to be very handy to me. That being said, I've still chosen not to lift first thing this morning. I'm gonna do my workout at one o'clock because last week I struggled way too much. Massage done. Apparently my right glute med is not firing effectively. It's quite weak. My left piriformis is really, really tight. My Achilles and calf on my right leg are ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously tight because there's essentially with my hips being slightly twisted it's causing loads of torsion in my knee because everything's getting tight and twisted i've noticed that when i'm setting up for snatches and cleans my right foot's starting to twist out and lift up a little bit on the arch she stuck her thumb underneath my arch and i wanted to scream but i've got a handful of things i can now get on with first of all now next task of today is to go around to the printers pick up some more lean machines t-shirts and vests which we're going to be sending to a few of our friends to try out the feedback from you guys out there is that you want this stuff which is amazing so you never know we might make it happen oh let's go and take a look oh this is what i'm talking about so we've got for the middle emblem on a red t-shirt and on a grey and then the vest, this is the back of the vest, which is a huge emblem. And then on the front of that vest, just on the breast pocket, Ah, oh, this is looking so look. Wowzers, what an hour. I've been to the post office. Zach George, or AKA the Beast himself, and Craig Ritchie, you've got a little present coming your way from myself and JC and the TLM family. Hope you enjoy it, amazing. Just been and picked up lunch. So, I break my fast, or broke it 20 minutes ago, but I haven't eaten yet. Went to my favorite place in Norwich, Finney's, and I picked up a chili with a portion of rice. And also, I picked up a flat white, which I have divulged and divulged, no, that's not the word, inhaled on the way here to the box. Now I'm going to go and see John. Haven't seen him for like a week, so it'd be good to give him a squeeze, say hello. Then it's workout time in about 40 minutes, so I need to hurry up and eat. Would you look who it is? Mr. Northern. Hello, Mr. Scottish man. Way up north. Way up north. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What were you? What accent? Way up to north. That's that's more yeah. Peter K. Yeah, that's Lee Bolton way. Bolton. How dare you come to a box repping another box's t-shirt, John? <laughs> that's just that's just beyond rude. I'm educated, Leon. I've seen the world. <laughs> Look who's joined us. It's the Don himself, Dave. What are we doing? <laughs> Oh good, looking forward to this, it's going to be an awesome session. Yeah, we are doing some cleans. John, John's getting going straight away, the top's off. He means absolute business. I'm going to be working, I'm personally going to be working on my clean and jerk today. My clean I PB'd last week, which is great, but my jerk that, I don't know if you can see this, where I have to go, boom. I'm just really, really weak, so I need to build that up a lot. Dave's going to work on his clean and hang clean, because he needs to work on his grip and then we're gonna do a tasty little Metcon to finish. The boys are talking about the assault bike, but I redone my 10 cow max challenge, 10 minute max cow challenge on their bike yesterday. If you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen the aftermath, which was pretty rank. If you don't, I'll leave the comment below. I'll leave a little bit of a sexy little word for you so you'll be able to find us on Instagram. I need to warm up and get moving. Is now on 120? Yeah. 120 clean and jerk. See how it goes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Not quite how the last three lifts like that have gone, Dave. No, it's got worse. <laughs> <laughs> Matched the PB clean of 110, failed on 115 a couple of times. Just a little bit too weak for that right now. But JC is now about to try and match his PB clean of 100 kilos. He's up. Yes. I'm heading upstairs into the classroom because Mr. David Smith has just written up our conditioning workout. What are we looking at? Right, fighting is 40 feet handstand walk. That's there and back That's on the gym, unbroken. All right there, all the way back, Has yeah. To be done unbroken in order to start the next bit. So then you go into a very short, sharp Metcon. 15 wall balls, 30 pound ball, should be awkward enough. It's just enough to go unbroken, then 15 burpees, and you repeat that again, 15 wall ball, 15 burpee, and then back on the buyout again, 40 feet handstand walk. Oh, tasty. Dave. So, with the handstand walk, it's 20 foot down, 20 foot down. Yeah, correct. Yum. Yum. JC, See you, mate. just like that, training done. That last workout, as you can probably see, was so annoying for me. I was ahead by the time I got into the handstands, but went off way too fast, then had too long a break. And when I went into my last handstand, that was it. My triceps and shoulders just went. That's the thing that's awesome about CrossFit. You go away and you're like, ah. In my head, I was like, yep, got this one. This was easy, not too hard at all. And then finished last by like a minute and a half. Awesome, but it's all good. Good workout. Now, better head home because I've got a lot of emails to reply to. Steve! Steve! Hello! Hello! Udo Sausage! Udo Sausage! After a big workout like that, I need food, and this is how it's looking. I've gone for my favorite at the moment. The Tilda egg rice, which is absolutely amazing, it takes like two minutes to cook. And then from the protein food shop, a sirloin steak, 140 grams. I'm probably going to chuck a load of greens in there as well. I might even have another protein shake to go with it. And then I might feel a little bit more human. It's been a very busy day so far. Lots of heavy lifting, lots of Metcon training, and now my favourite time I need to eat. I always, always forget my calorie. So this is one thing. Um, I'd love anyone else's opinion if they've fasted or done intermittent fast or anything like that before. The only thing that I'm finding a little bit harder in terms of the calorie side of things, because I come out of a fast at midday, I only really want to be eating up until eight, nine o'clock maximum, even though I'm not going to be fasting the next day. I don't like to eat too late where I can. And it's finding that 
balance of getting enough calories in in that eight to nine hour window. It's kind of it's so much easier when you've got the whole day, obviously. So I'm like, I'm now sitting on my second second meal. I'm probably only around, I don't know, I haven't calculated, but maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred calories in. This is like only another what five six hundred calories. I would say something like that. So it's I kind of feel like I'm getting to nine ten o'clock at night, and I'm like I still haven't eaten enough calories. So it's gonna have to be getting full on on the fat train. I think just to bring my calories up a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, I am honestly feeling absolutely awesome. First thing in the morning when I get up now, I'm like, yeah, yeah, a little bit hungry, had that black coffee today. And I was like, boom, 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 just flying through Magic Monday without any hassle at all. So yeah, at the moment, thumbs up from me. I made a promise to myself that on Mondays I would finish work by 7 p.m. It's now 6.44 and I would say that I've had a pretty darn productive day and I'm gonna finish at that. But the problem is, is my missus is out until I don't know, about eight o'clock, and I get bored. So I'm going full on, oh, here we go. I'm going old school, and I'm just gonna do a good old gun workout, about 10, 15 minutes, just get an amazing pump, and then I can walk around when I'm walking the dog like that. We'll go on massive huh? <laughs> It's a lovely little pump, I've got to say, I do get a little bit bored quite quickly doing that kind of stuff. Heart rate's not massively up, so I'm going to finish by taking Stephen for a nice long walk. Um, I say long walk for him, about half an hour, an hour. But I just wanted to say at this point, I feel really good. And it's so nice to feel like that. I'm not being like up myself or vain or anything, but I'm enjoying my training. I'm getting feedback from my body, which is amazing for the aesthetics and positivity and everything like that and confidence. But generally, I'm just feeling good. Work is hard, but fun, and I love it. I've got a beautiful wife, and yeah, life's pretty good at the moment. I feel awesome, and some of that is down to you guys, so thank you so much. I think somebody's a little bit parched. I was going in for seconds, good lad. Give it down to Sam, go on, Sam. Right, that is another magic Monday. I'm going to have to call this one more of a manic Monday because it's been crazy. And the only other thing I have to do for you guys and girls out there is give you a tip for this video. So many people have commented recently saying, how do you stay so motivated to train? How do you get past that slump? How do you get past a plateau? Right, I'm not going to lie here. Not every single training session I love. There was elements of today's training that I absolutely hated. But... You know what I've learned is you have to take the best out of it. So, uh, for instance, today's session, the handstand thing really annoyed me because I was absolutely smashing that workout, screwed my handstands up, and then came last out of all of us. That sucks, nobody wants to come last. But I PB'd my clean earlier on in the day, which was amazing. So there's a positive and a negative side, I feel, to every single session. Sometimes you go in and you're like, oh, I could bench press so much more last time. But then you go and do so many push-ups like you wouldn't believe. There's always a positive to take out of your sessions. You just have to push beyond that boring, sucky beginning part, which sucks for everyone. We have all been there. But you just have to look at the bigger picture, set your expectation levels each session quite low, which sounds really negative, but you're setting yourself up to win. So if you do something a little bit more than what you were like, you know what, if I get in happy days, and then you get in and you spend 20, 30 minutes smashing it, you have won, you've already improved, your positivity levels will go up, your confidence will go up, and your trust in the process will go up. So I hope that helps. Thank you all so much for watching, as always. Um, yeah, if you want to see the Lean Machines merch on your body, wearing it, everything like that with the Lean Machines kit, we're loving it right now. The comments have been unbelievable, so just keep letting us know. If that's what you want, we'll try our best to make it happen. I'll pin a comment below, and it will be about the, tra the training kit. Just give it a massive thumbs up, let us know what you think, and then, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.